everyone so it is Sunday morning it's quarter to ten and I'm just on my way to the train station to get a train to Belfast because today I want to go to the Game of Thrones exhibition and it's closing down I think mid-November so I just want to see it before it closes down and I want to kind of make a day in Belfast so I'm gonna get the train it should take about two hours and then we'll take it from there <laughs> Belfast and I'm gonna see where the first stop off will be. So it is like 23 degrees in Belfast today which is amazing. It feels like I've gone on a little tropical day trip. Anyway I decided since I'm so hungry the first stop is gonna be St George's Market which is just over here. City Hall now and oh my god, it's amazing. There's a few people here, so I'm quiet, but it's so good. It is all over the place. I'm sweating, it's like 23 degrees in Dublin here, or in, in Belfast here today. But I'll show you what this city hall is like now. It's so good. Titanic quarter in Belfast now. There is the Titanic experience, I think it's called. And over there, where it says TC somewhere, is where the Game of Thrones exhibition is on. And that's actually what I want to go and see. Because I've been to this before. It takes about an hour and a half to go around everything, and I don't have that time today. And um, my last bus is, or my last train today is at 7 pm, so I have to make that. Um, but yeah, this is a really fun place to go to. If I come back to Belfast, I definitely want to come back and take a look around again. But yeah, this is the Titanic quarter. So the Titanic, fun fact of the day, the Titanic from that point way up there and that point way up there, all the way down to the bottom, that's how large and tall and grand the Titanic ship was. It's crazy. exhibition oh my god it was so good it was just like a lot of costumes and a lot of props and some scene settings I suppose there was the Crips of Winterfell and a few other things but yeah it was really cool I'd recommend it if you're into Game of Thrones and you just want to fan out what I wouldn't recommend though is the audio guides you don't need them there unless you have like an hour or two hours to just listen to everything you don't really need them but yeah another word little thing in Belfast ticked off the list now and look I'll just show you from here there's the Titanic headquarters I suppose you'd say so I'm gonna go back onto the tour bus now and do a little tour of the city and then take it from there Wait to like flick it around and show you. Look at the architecture here. So so cool. All the details. So 
right, I'm just outside the Ulster Museum now. I'm gonna go in there and have a quick look around. There's a bit of a festival going on here. Um, it probably won't get too long to have a look because it is four o'clock now, it's closing at five. But I'm interested in history. I also heard they have lots of good kind of animal displays, so I want to see that. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but Toot Macan, the mummy, that there is a showcase of that there now at the moment too. So I'm gonna go in and have a look. my Belfast day tour today. So I'm back in front of Queen's University. It's gorgeous. My have to I'm getting the bus back today. I was hoping to get the train but I actually have to get the bus back to Dublin. It'll take about two hours and that is just down the road at quarter to seven. So set a chill here with a little picnic from Tesco and that's it. I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it informative and helpful and maybe gave you some ideas on what you'd like to do if you come to Belfast, especially if you like Game of Thrones. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please hit that like button and if you really like it and you'd like to see more kind of things to do in Ireland please subscribe. Okay thanks so much bye!